Okay, so here we are back again. I recently started to do some archery. Uh, I've never done it before, uh, but uh, Garrett decided that he was going to start doing it. And because my priest had made, uh, you know, th three thousand arrow shafts or something like that, I um, he made me some support beams, and I gave him a hell of a load of arrow shafts. So he started doing archery. So in in completion of uh, my 21 body control for my uh, my priest and get, get her riding I decided that uh, I would use the, uh, some of the arrow shafts myself to get Milo to uh, do some archery and it's actually pretty cool uh, not that many people really do it uh, as far as I know uh, it's a bit fiddly um, but I decided to give it a go and have a look into it and see what happens so basically um, you'd see here there's three types of bows there's a short bow there's a bow which is like a medium bow and then there's a long bow uh, the short bow goes uh, it's only got like a five uh, a five tile range which is like I think it's 20 meters inside a spyglass if you happen to have one of those uh, then you have the medium bow which is uh, five to ten and then I think the long bow goes up to twenty uh, with all these stats don't quote me completely on it because I'm not the expert but I think they're pretty much spot on um, so you make yourself a bow uh, and then you have to get a rope tool get some wemp and uh, some wemp fiber and make a bow string and basically when you make your bow you need to input before you put the string on because you can't input when the strings on so you can unstring it and then you can restring it again stuff like that uh, bow strings will break so take some with you I've got five in my <coughs> five in my quiver and you put, your, you put your quiver on your bar you put that um, on your body and there's a quiver slot which is basically um, where is he da, 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 da. in my blind there there it is right there and then uh, you put all your arrows in there uh, I don't know how many it's, it's like 30 something or something arrows in there uh, these are arrow shafts at the moment and I'll talk about that more later on um, uh, what you do with your practicing and stuff like that so basically you can you know you can put another quiver uh, do I have one here no I put it back into the chest for safekeeping at the moment but you can put another quiver in your inventory and put more in there and then you can you know restock and all that type of thing um, so basically so you make your bow um, short bow a little too short you know five tiles is not enough and between five and ten a lot better long bow up to twenty it's a hell of a long way away but um, I decided to use the medium bow I don't know if that's the best one but uh, for me that's the one I wanted to use so basically okay I made a target a tree target um, it's got, it's got uh, four grass mixed grass seven large nails uh, I think it has some planks and a rope I think it is I think that's it uh, but you can look on the wiki for that and you can see what it actually uh, is all the materials uh, it doesn't take too much see the thing is it will take damage so when you are practicing on a target dummy target dummy hello archery target uh, best to use a bow of one quality uh, because uh, you don't want to be re repairing your archery target all the time but for when you get to shooting uh, animals and stuff like that you obviously you want to have a high quality bow because it uh, will do more damage to the animals um, so basically with my bow um, if you look here it's not equipped what I thought is the best way to do it this is my idea of doing it is I put both my weapon and my bow on my toolbar uh, say I want to switch to my main weapon I go equip and then I click on it it's ready to go Want my bow uh, sorry uh, equip and click on it ready to go off off it goes so basically yeah I think that's the quickest way in my opinion so basically um, when you're practicing this is a this is a medium bow so if you look here and we count up we go one two three four five six seven eight okay I'm at eight so that's not too bad so um, right click on your archery target practice target and 
off you go. So you don't use too much stamina by doing this, so I just keep rolling it up. Good to use some skill, um, some uh, skill sleep bonus while you're doing it. I've only been doing it, you know, today and yesterday. So uh, where are we? We're around here somewhere. Get an archery. So I started on the short bow and now I'm on the medium bow. I'm at 12 and a half, say, and I did use some sleep bonus. So when you are doing this, um, if you do it at night time, um, for skilling up, the difficulty is a bit harder, so you get a bit more skill. Um, but when you're actually out fighting and it's dark, uh, you will miss and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, great in the night time for practicing. Um, queue up a couple. I only had four, but I did five. So yeah, you do see see them flying. There he goes. I actually saw them fly better with a um, with a short bow, but that's okay. Before I took out a croc, it was down the mountain. He, we, I didn't kill him, obviously, but I tagged him, which is really good for these mountainous areas. So, you know, you're going to break bowstrings. Um, so, yeah, I have a couple in my bag, which I already said. Also, we check the damage on our archery target. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I'm actually using... I'm actually using my good bow, aren't I? Am I using my good bow? Not quality one, that's okay. That's good. So, re examine it. See, it's got 12 damage already. Uh, I've been going a while, but you don't want to damage it with your good bow, so use your crappy one. Um, what else do we need to talk about here? Uh, okay, yes. Um, so, with this using the target dummy, you know, and arrow shafts, you can use them up to about 38, 39, say. Uh, skill level and then you're going to have to make arrow heads and stuff like that to get some more skill uh, so yeah basically grind away on the archery target till about 38 or something like that and then it's uh, out into the wilderness you go uh, it looks like fun to me uh, I'm quite actually enjoying it um, I'm just really lucky that my priest made so many arrow shafts uh, I still have heaps so if anyone wants to buy any just let me know well that basically covers it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make another video when I have um, had a bit more experience with it. Uh, anyone wants to comment, give me some tips or anything like that, or something that I've, you know, I've said wrong or something like that, let me know. Um, what I'll do is I'll come back with another video uh, when I've been out hunting and my skills a lot higher. We can call this uh, archery part one or something like that. So basically. We'll leave it there and we'll see you later.